check it out. Listen, if you're interested in getting your pork chops to turn out like this or your veggies to be roasted like that, then today I'm getting ready to show you how to make lemon garlic baked pork chops and roasted veggies. Let's get it. The full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. As well, you can go to my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, hit the recipe tab, and then you can find a printable recipe right there. Hey, with that being said, come on in and take a look at this right here. We got baby potatoes, right? This right here, this is gonna be fire, folks. You're talking about doing something a little bit different, putting something on the table. Look, you got your potatoes. We got zucchini over here. Of course, we got our, you know, our pork chops. Now you can go as thick as you would like on the pork chops. I usually go about an inch and a quarter. This time I kept it a little bit more traditional, especially with the prices of uh, pork chops right now, right? Over here we got oregano, thyme, parsley. This is my little mix. And then right here you can see the garlic cloves. You know we gotta have, you know, salt, right? I use kosher, a coarse blend. This right here is, you know, my press. This right here is, hey, I call this my, my happy time right here, folks. We got lemon juice, then we got olive oil. And if you wanna look at my olive oil right here, listen, I'm using this right here, this that rosemary. This is made by Branson Vaughn. If you wanna know how to level up the things that you make, you know, on the on a regular, you gotta use great ingredients. This right here, I stand by. You see, I cook with it all the time, right? Now, back here, I got a bowl. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it, right? So what we are gonna do is go ahead and prep and get our marinade together. Now, when we talk about the marinade, I'm gonna just add these in right now. When I say marinade, listen, the marinade time can be 30 minutes all the way up to like eight hours. Real simple, folks. Go ahead, get this going. Nothing like smelling some fresh garlic, you know? If you guys don't have one of these pressed like this, all you gotta do is look down in the uh, description box or my number one comment. I always pin, you know, my Amazon store or where you can get everything from, right? So we'll just come with our lemon juice, our olive oil, right? Now notice what I'm doing inside of my kitchen too. You see how I keep everything all together? Now follow me right here. I take this, I got some soapy water back here ran. I'll do like this so you guys can see. You know what I mean? Listen, I wash my dishes as I go, folks. Now, okay, so got the bowl, right? Now I'm gonna come with some black pepper. This right here, you wanna at least put like a, about a teaspoon in. These are pork chops, they'll take it, you know, along with the uh, salt also, right? So, open up my kosher. I'm gonna give it just one generous pinch, right? So I'm gonna use my whisk. And now we just gonna go ahead, man, smells incredible. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a couple of tablespoons, right? And we just gonna reserve this. So I'll just put it right here, cause we are gonna save this. You know what I mean? This, maybe just a little bit more. This is gonna be for the veggies. I'm gonna take my pork chops. I'm gonna go ahead and just add these to my bag, right? And I know you guys are loving this little holder right here. This quick zipper right here. This right here is fire, folks. Now, listen, you're talking about making things simple. That's what this channel is about. I like having little gadgets like this. It's not, doesn't have a real big footprint. You know what I mean? So it's perfect. So look, we'll just add, right? Now, I'll take this, remove my apparatus, right? Now I'm gonna get some of this air out of here, just like you see. Okay, so look, I got everything squished out. You know what I mean? I just wanna make sure everything is coated. You know what I mean? Now listen, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. We're gonna put it in for, like I said, you could do this for 30 minutes up to eight hours. I'm gonna probably have this, you know, marinating for about one hour. After that, then I'm gonna show you what we do to the rest. Okay, so look, I took these out 10 minutes. I said I was gonna go an hour, but remember, I told you guys can put them in the refrigerator and marinate your pork chops up to 30 minutes. Excuse me, 30 minutes all the way up to eight hours, right? So what I did was I took them out a little early. Why? Because I want these to start to come back to room temperature. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my zucchini. Look, I'm just gonna cut these off like this. You know what I mean? This is fine right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut myself about a half inch, you know, thick slices, you know, just like this. And what I'm gonna use is just some parchment paper. But this right here, this is enough zucchini and these pork chops. You wanna have them all spread where they're not on top of each other. That's why you need the coverage. Now, would be a great time for you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Hey, so let me just go ahead and finish cutting these and then we'll get right into it. Okay, so look, you see I just got myself a bowl, set them off about a half inch thick, right? So we'll set those over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the potatoes. When it comes to the potatoes, listen to this. What you wanna do is just quarter them. So if you got, got them like this, right? And you just quarter them like this. This is all you want. They should be all about the same size. Now this one right here is super small. 
you know what I mean? So half would be good. Okay, so look, you can see I got it all in here like this, right? Now don't forget, we reserve two tablespoons of our marinade, right? This right here, we gonna coat this. We just wanna put it in here just like that, right? I'm gonna get in here with my hand, and what we wanna do is just make sure that it transfers, you know, get a little bit of that, that oil and them herbs, you know, on all of our, you know, veggies. Then when you're done, you should be able to see all of the herbs transferred on all of your potatoes and your, your veggies. That right there. Mm. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just pour this out. Pour these right on top of the parchment paper, right? Remember, we were talking about the coverage. Because here we can get everything down to a flat surface. This is what we want to have. You don't want, you know, you, there's no reason for you to have anything on top of each other. We all want it to cook, you know, about the same time and be done just right, right? Now, check this part out. Now we go ahead and go into that marinade, right? We gonna just put these right on top. Super simple. I let them hang just a little bit, you know what I mean? And then we just go right over this right here. This is what we want, folks. Again, if you're looking for something to just level up, they ain't always gotta be, you know, smothered or nothing like that. But take a look at this. And they that bone in. You know, keeping that bone in there makes all of this meat all next to that just adds a little bit of extra flavor. Just go ahead and look at your presentation right now. Hey, only thing I can tell you is once we come out of this oven, it's gonna look way better once we put that heat on it, right? So listen, we just wanna go in the oven. We gonna go in here for about 20, 25 minutes, right? So I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna meet that in the middle. Okay, so look, my timer just went off. We had uh, 22 minutes, probably 23, because I used my meat thermometer right here, and then I checked it, right? These were at 150, so I want to take these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn my, I'm gonna let it keep going, because I'm gonna give you guys an option right now. I'll just take these like this, and you want to see some beautiful, you know, chops. Take a look at that right there. Ah, yeah. This right here, this is what you want to have. These were like 150. These one, that's all, yeah, these are about 150. And then these right here, they were right around like 148, 140, 149. That's what you wanna have, you know what I mean? To have a juicy pork chop, you gotta do your research, check the USDA and what they recommend. Listen, when it comes to this white meat like this right here, you wanna go about 145 to 150 to get you something nice and juicy. Now, you gotta have one of these because that's gonna be real key, right? Now, I wanna tell you this. There's two ways we can do this. Now, you know, we got veggies on here, we got potatoes, right? I can turn my oven up to, you know, turn it up to broil, right? I can take the pork chops off, cover them, set them off to the side. We put them on broil because we want to put a little bit of that, you know, a little bit of that crispiness and that, you know, those brown edges on there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, listen, that's completely optional. This right now is ready to eat, but I'm going to go ahead and go that extra mile and get my veggies the way I like them. So, look, I'm going back in there. I sprinkled a little bit of my, uh, you know, my AP seasoning on here. Now, listen, I'm on broil. I'm only going to go in for about three to four minutes, right? So I'm going to keep my eyes on them. I'm going to watch them. And I can tell you right now, you see I got your toothpick? That's because I hit a couple of them right now. And man, they are fire. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look at that right there. Listen, I did, let me see. You can see how I started putting that color on there. You know what I mean? Look, you can start seeing where the potatoes start to burn. Now, again, this is like completely optional. But I can say this, this is a little bit more of one of the healthier meals. You know what I mean? So listen, I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of these off. We'll start putting some of these on this plate right here. Okay, so look, it's really nothing else, you know, nothing else to do but eat these. Hey, you know what? I got to say this too. Listen, I don't really talk about my steak knives that often, you know what I mean? Uh, like hardly ever do. You guys just been like taking out, taking a look at like the link and all of that. You know what I want to say? Thank you guys for purchasing them. You know what? I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and just put them out here so you guys can see. So listen, they great for pork chops, steak, chicken, whatever. But check it out. I'm not finna over talk it. Ooh, wee. This is what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cheers, y'all. Now, hold on, y'all. Man, I don't know if you guys can see right there. I just knocked off the potatoes. It's nothing like having your potatoes or your veggies made that way. And, like I said, I added a little bit of my, 
you guys are about to find out real soon. You know what I mean? I'll be dropping my AP seasoning, you know, within like the next three, about, probably about three weeks, right? But listen, that right there is just what takes it over the top. It's real nice. Now, for you guys, you guys use whatever you have that's in your kitchen that you like just to give it that little bit of flavor because you got to have a little bit of that salt, you know, on there just to make those flavors pop. As far as the pork chop go, listen, if you're looking for something that's different, this is it right here. And I don't want to say it like that because it seems like I'm alienating it. You know what I mean? Because listen, my favorite thing, my favorite meal in the world is the smothered pork chop. But listen, I always break it up with something like this right here. This right here is fire. Trust me, your family will love it. Hey, so with that being said, don't forget, take a look at my number one comment. I usually pin everything there as far as like getting some of my merch, some of these, you know, some of these fire aprons, some of these cutting boards. And then when it comes to the cutting board, check it out. When you go to my website, anything that you buy that's over a hundred bucks is broke down into four easy payments. If it don't get no easier than that, I don't know what will. Hey, so let me just say this. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm finna really get down here, pick these up with my hand, and we finna eat all the way down to the bone. I'm out. Peace.